So today we have an interesting rumor. It might even be a leak. Look, it's coming from some insiders. One well-known insider, Nate the Hate, a.k.a. Nate Drake, a.k.a. Direct Feed Games, or whatever username you want to go by with them. Uh, it's kind of sort of corroborated this, but it comes from a user who has talked about some things about Switch 2 back in April of this year, and some of those things have been discovered via the shipping documents to be true about switch 2 and then they vanished and now they've come back with what is a sketch yes that's right folks a sketch of the back of the nintendo switch 2 and its supposed dock now you might go a sketch that's kind of weird why are we not getting images well the original leaks we had for the nx otherwise known as the nintendo switch began as sketches so it's not out of the ordinary to have sketches come out for people that maybe don't have actual images of it or respected the rules as an example sometimes when you're around and dealing with a product uh dealing with a dev kit sometimes you can't have your phones on you and stuff like that uh so there's a lot of ins and outs about this so this very well could be our first look at what the back of the switch 2 looks like and obviously what the dock looks like and there are differences by the way from the current nintendo switch and dock so uh before we dive into that i want to remind you guys we are on our road to 140,000 subscribers so i'd appreciate if you subscribe to the channel if you want to stay as of the date on everything regarding nintendo switch 2. so here's how we're going to go about this first we're going to look at the image then we're going to look at the confirmation the verification by nate drake on this sort of thing and then we're going to get to the nx leak as well back in 2016 so you can kind of see how like this could have some legitimacy uh, of some kind. So first let's go over, cause we're talking about NinSpider. NinSpider is this random user or seemingly random user over on Family Wars, except that they said a bunch of stuff about Switch 2 back in April that again was discovered in the shipping documents, like the magnets and the way the controllers work and the extra buttons on the controllers that we see in the prototype. So this is the drawing that he has here. And uh, this drawing is quite interesting. One, you see the U-shaped design that we have heard in rumors before with the kickstand. So Looks like the kickstand basically works the way it does on switch oled except instead of it being about half of the back that lifts out it's just this u-shaped design i'm actually okay with that so long as it's a metal design and very solid we obviously don't know uh you can see the logo here i don't know if there's much to infer from the logo or really the rest of the tablet markings on here i don't really think there's much to really say here uh, or the fact that you can see through the damn thing with the lines this is obviously just a very crude drawing but then you go over to the dock and oh boy does that nintendo dock look like a thick boy a thick one first off it's using a very rounded design you can see a very rounded design even among the bath that's rounded up and then rounded around the edges but the dock design is obviously very very thick this actually goes along with the burj khalifa stuff which is something nin spider talked about all the way back in april when he noted that if you look at it from the side it looks like the burj khalifa which does have a little bit of a design like this so uh that's a very fascinating design you see a couple of usb ports on the side so they still have some external usb ports why it's so thick that's a pretty good question there has been speculation that one of the fans that we saw in the shipping data is actually for the dock that could explain some of the thickness of the dock that there's an internal fan we still don't know why there would need to be an internal fan in fact we don't know anything about the internals of this thing and why it's so thick maybe it's just an aesthetic choice to make it look different than switch or maybe there's actually a practicality reason on why it's so thick we're not going to know obviously until we see it and confirm that this is what the new dock looks like and obviously the new kickstand but it's still you know in my opinion a pretty interesting thing to, to, to kind of glance around at uh beyond all that we have this post uh over here by uh, Nate Drake here, but it's hidden. Thankfully, uh, we know what the post says because of Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit. So let's go ahead and head on over to the Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit. Uh, and you can see here, where it says a user uh, in Spider posts a basic sketch of the alleged upcoming console. Nate the Hate says it lines up with what he's been told and is still working to verify. So he says, all I can say, this is the Nate the Hate stuff. All I can say is that the dock sketch is similar in design and shape to one I was sent several weeks ago, meaning a drawing of the alleged dock but i've been working to verify it whether this design has circulated chinese forums or not i don't know but the general design matches what i was sent in september again i haven't verified the design with any contact or source at this time so what he's saying is he has no verification of this however it is something that he was sent back in september and now you know he's not saying it's that exact sketch but one that is 
very similar. Now, I want to kind of remind you guys that we have had leaks like this before. If we go all the way back to this Nintendo Insider website from back in September of 2016, which again would match the September time frame in which, uh, you know, uh, Nathan Hates claiming he got his hands on stuff. Um, we say, you know, they say it's believed to be fake, but who really knows? Uh, this is before we even knew what Switch was, and it shows this NX design with the detachable controllers here. We obviously don't know what this stuff is. Some people thought this was fake. Some people thought it was real. We know this part's at least pretty accurate to what the final design of the Switch was. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's kind of cool. I think this is more like a, a, a prototype design of the dock or something, or maybe this is a prototype design of the dock. I don't really know what these two things are, but obviously that was uh, something back in 2016 that at least this middle part here was pretty close to what the final thing ended up looking like. So we can't sit here and pretend that there's no chance that this is real uh, because I think there's actually a pretty good chance that this is real. And that's just because this is the kind of stuff that happens around the time when we haven't had a system revealed. When a system hasn't been revealed, but we're getting closer and closer to reveal, these are the kind of things that tend to leak out. You tend to get some crude drawings of things. You tend to hear a few whispers. Again, there's been whispers of journalists talking about how it might be revealed towards the uh, end of October. I don't know how much validity there is in that since I haven't seen a journalist actually say it out loud. So it sounds like behind the scenes chatter if it's anything. But again, this is just a very fascinating leak. Looking at this again, that is just such a really cool design on the dock that I presume is because there's more going on inside that dock than we're accustomed to. And usually, you know, in the current dock, it's just a little Little tiny board and it's mostly just kind of empty plastic and maybe it's mostly empty plastic here and this is just an aesthetic thing to make it stand out and make it look like it's beefier or maybe it just has to do with faster charging so they need more cooling in there or they're delivering more power to the unit so there's bigger capacitors that maybe have their own heat sinks and so if they have heat sinks on the board in there then they need to make it thicker i don't know there's a lot of reasons that they could do it that doesn't involve throwing a fan in there but uh, i'm just really glad to see that this is the sort of stuff coming out right now obviously i have no idea when nintendo switch 2 is going to be revealed you know i put this out on social media and i might as well put it out here in a video i don't have a good feeling about next week i don't know what it is i know we have some rumors and, and other things floating out there kind of hyping up next week but for me i, I kind of look at it as next week they have that public nso test going on on the 23rd uh with new information about it going out tomorrow i kind of think that's all of nintendo's like you know back end focus for next week is on whatever this new nso thing is and then the next week we have halloween and i actually think it's more likely for that week than this week uh but what do i know and i know some people will point out well there's an election going on you know on november 5th the same day as nintendo's investors meeting i don't think nintendo would delay news because of an election cycle uh, i'm just i'm just being honest with you guys yeah we all have to go vote uh on the fifth or should vote but uh doesn't mean that i want to say all of us obviously us in the united states uh but it doesn't mean that we're just gonna vote and do nothing else that day right like the rest of the day exists we stand in a line we vote we go home like the, or go to work or whatever like the rest it's not a holiday the rest of the day still exists besides the voting part so i don't know guys i'm just gonna sit back and uh take this all in again here's another look at it i don't know you know what to believe here i know that nin spider again did have some information that is seemingly correct about switch 2 all the way back in april that has been shown in the shipping documents since then uh, we do know that there's been some leaks coming from Chinese forums, which might be legit. This could end up being legit. Natrix even saying that, hey, man, like all I know is this looks pretty damn close to something that I was shown uh, in a drawing as well, especially on the dock part is what he's focusing on this whole dock design. So to have him like see a drawing that's not this one, uh, but is different and came from somebody else, but is similar to this means that there is definitely something floating around behind the scenes about this particular design again he hasn't been able to get it confirmed with any of his contacts although to be fair this looks like more of like a retail design dev units often don't look anything like final retail so I want to be very clear like you might be like well doesn't he know developers can he easily get this confirmed no because developers wouldn't have retail docs and retail hardware right now they would have dev units which are not final retail design so take that for what you will i am nathaniel rubblejance from nintendo prime i really enjoy bringing these videos to you guys i want you to go down in the comments below and 
Tell me uh, a little feedback in general on the channel on a whole, right? Uh, when we are out here covering all these rumors and we are here covering these leaks, I know sometimes some people get a little tired of it. Obviously, the traffic's really good and the like to dislike ratio is really good. And most of the comments are positive and just talking about stuff. Uh, I bring this up because yesterday we, we talked about a 4chan thing and I did map a little oopsie in that 4chan video. Look, people say I never admit to making mistakes. I made a mistake. Uh, I gave a little credence to the 4chan rumor because of Nintendo's tweet. But it turned out that Universal had actually tweeted it the day before. And I guess there might have been some sort of PR release about May, about a month prior. So uh, it turns out that, hey, you know, that didn't add any validity. You know, that, that whole thing from Nintendo didn't add any validity to the 4chan report. That doesn't change that the 4chan thing is really interesting to talk about. But it does mean that in hindsight, I wouldn't have even brought up that Nintendo made an announcement outside of just referencing that, hey, you know, this thing was previously announced anyways. Uh, and it would have just been a fun conversation point. And the title would have focused just in on the idea of backwards compatibility or whatever that you know file format really means so uh, i do apologize for that but it does lead me to this conversation where even though i made a mistake is uh well, how do you guys think about covering the rumors and leaks do you guys enjoy those discussions do you enjoy uh how i'm titling and, th and thumbnailing things i'm trying to be transparent while also you know making things sound kind of exciting because again, I'm, I'm really excited for Nintendo Switch 2 and I don't want to talk about things that don't interest me. So uh, I've been very fervent about talking about this stuff because I am just so interested in it. I have covered other things on my channel, contrary to popular belief. I just had a day the other day where I put out two videos, neither of them being about Nintendo Switch 2. So uh yeah we cover things as they happen obviously we're gonna have a video on something to do with nso coming up this next week because uh there's some news regarding that that we just know is coming but outside of that nintendo just kind of trickling stuff out there that doesn't matter that much to me like banjo Tui announced for nso i think is really cool but that's not worth me making a video on i mean it's a game that barely any of you guys are going to even play barely any of you guys play growing up let alone are going to go to nso to play so um I'm just going to sit back and take some of that feedback in, see what you guys have to say about it, and uh, we'll see how we kind of shape or change how we're doing things moving forward, if at all. Again, I really enjoy what I'm doing talking about Switch 2, and that's also part of my consideration. It's like, I love this, man. Uh, it is so fun to talk about this stuff every day, but what's fun for me isn't always fun for everyone else. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.